I had a message today asking about um, any more formal resources for learning IDA, uh, something more along the lines of classroom approach, especially the uh, MOOCs, the what was it, massively online open course. It was big online courses. Uh, not really. There's a few that I can find, but it really doesn't go beyond basic introductory stuff. And, uh, oh my god, that cost. That cost. But... It got me thinking, and uh, I haven't really done a video on why I'm doing all these videos. So we're going to talk about what it was like for me to learn Ida, because it's not pretty. This was what got me through most of it. And it should never be that way. Granted, I'm glad something like this actually exists, because this is something many languages lack, and it is a useful resource. But it is a useful resource for already established programmers, and a terrible way to learn a language. But it does have everything defined, and given enough reading, and rereading, and rereading, and more rereading, it does start to make sense. They, they do generally do a pretty good job of having examples. Um, I think if we pick this one, you can see it, they do do a good job of uh, describing what the syntax looks like, a few things about... Uh, what is correct, and even an example of how to use it. So it, it is it is an okay resource, but it was definitely not not how I ever learned anything in my life. Which was a shame, because I kept coming back to this, because of it being very a very effective language for many reasons. By God, this is a terrible way to learn anything. Uh, why I went with this? <clears throat> Basically the only thing available. That or uh, asking questions on a few of the sparse mailing lists that exist, and those are basically derelict anyways. Uh, you can try IRC chat, but that's Again, usually just a derelict. <clears throat> uh, when I was starting off, Stack Overflow uh, didn't exist, and then sort of barely existed, and the Attic community on there was also equally as small. It has developed up to a fairly decent resource, but that's... Again, not really a place where you'd go to learn the language, but more a place to get help with issues. Uh, some things that have cropped up rather recently, like the Idacor University, uh, this... I was originally really happy about this, uh, their endeavor to start this, because I figured it would take off kind of like the Microsoft Virtual Academy, which, by the way, is an absolutely amazing resource for learning different things about networking or uh, operating system internals, just Windows specific, though. It's Microsoft, what do you expect? Uh, but it is an absolutely great resource. I mean, who doesn't work with Windows machines? Um, and tons of stuff on programming specifically. There's stuff on HTML, CSS. There's stuff on JavaScript. There's stuff on C sharp, F sharp. It it's a absolutely great resource. It's been around for a while now, and uh, they haven't really done shit.
I'm not going to go through that here, but you you can totally do that uh, on your own time. I'll, I'll have a link to all of these, of course, in the video description. But this is... Uh, I mean, that's useful. That That's useful. That's something I haven't done yet. I haven't done anything with uh, computer graphics, but... Uh, There's not a lot here. There's not a lot here, and it jumps. It, it, if you if you do go through these, you'll notice it jumps really quickly, and uh, it's not great. Uh, I basically liken this to taking like a college textbook on Ida, taking the latter four fifths of every chapter hacking them out and then presenting it to you and it's it's not great but I'd also expect a company with all these resources to make quite a bit more than the six little things that they've done um, and these are literally just presented to you as here's how things are uh, admittedly like most of my videos are there's just considerably more but also, if you go into the labs, which would be what most people really need to benefit from, uh, this is all that's been there for what, over a year. I, I don't even know how long anymore, but this has been the only thing here for a while. Uh, it's, it's worth doing. Don't get me wrong. It's totally worth doing. It's just... There's really not a lot here, and I, I'm a little bit disappointed that a company with such uh, vast amount of resources couldn't get more here. Um, you're literally investing in more more customers. The, the more people that know how to use IDA, the more customers IDA Core is going to have. It seems like a no-brainer to me to get people invested. That's the same reason why Microsoft Virtual Academy exists for free, is they're understandably thinking that later down the road, you're going to want to use their products because they made it easy to use their products. Uh, uh, so as for the MOOCs thing, occasionally you'll find a few courses. Uh, they're usually not even offered all the time. I can't find any right now, but I have found some in the past. But again, they're always like crazy expensive to the point of you might as well go to a college that actually teaches it and take a course there because that college is going to cover it in more detail for the same cost. Uh, and on that subject, I guess we'll dive into books because that's between books and the Add a Reference Manual and I mean, it was book. It was the Add a Reference Manual alone for a few good years. Uh, it was rough, but between that and books, that's that's where I have all this knowledge. Well, that and obviously, get out there and actually do it. That's the single best way to learn it. But I, you do need to learn some fundamentals before you can start to tinker around. So, um, yeah, let's jump over to the books. All right, so I have a few things here in the old bookcase. Um, I guess we'll start with this, uh, just because it's easy to get out of the way and I don't want to forget about it. We've got Ida as a Second Language by Norman H. Cohen. Uh, I, I've loaned this out to people when they're... Um, when they already are a programmer and are trying to pick up IDA because that's where they, uh, the business they work for or whatever needs an IDA programmer and they decided to take up the job. Uh, it's a, it's a good resource. Uh, it's primarily oriented around, um, uh, this is the one I'm thinking of like C, C++ and Java. Uh, if you're coming from something else, it's not going to be super useful for you, but that's, um, that's that. What do we want to do next? No, that, that's, a, that's a later one. <laughs> concurrency stuff in IDA is an advanced topic. Well, concurrency in general is an advanced topic, so we don't need to cover that uh, till later. Uh, we'll do 
this one in a bit. So if you need to work specifically with Ida95 because you're working with one of the other third-party vendors, uh, I shouldn't say third-party, they're all third-party. Um, if you're working with one of the other Ida compilers, uh, by God, I can't even remember who makes them anymore just because I, I, I don't use them. I, I don't use them at all. But there are some... You know, if it's not the Ida Core compiler, if it's not the one... Well, like Edicore slash uh, Free Software Foundation compiler. If it's not NAT, uh, then you literally just limited to Ida ninety five. And so, in that instance, this the Ida ninety five uh, problem solver and pro program design. Uh, don't even worry about that. Get it. Get it online. <laughs> Can tell how old this book is, but by by um. Uh, Feldman and Kaufman. This is a good resource. Uh, I like it in that it provides a different perspective from uh, John Barnes, who does almost all of the Ida books. Uh, Feldman's also who did uh, this, which we'll get to in a bit. Yeah, that's... If you actually are, you know, working with um, with the free software with the, with the Adicor or Free Software Foundation compilers with NAT, uh, you probably don't want this just because it's going to be out of date and that compiler supports the full ADA 2012, uh, you know, even 2005. Uh, so you're not going to want this. It's just something I have. Uh, yeah, it's still useful, but uh, if you are working with the non-NAT compilers, uh, this is another good resource along with the one I just showed. Come on. Oh, I got too many books. They'll fit nicely, but the moment one's taken out... Uh, we'll do this one now. So this is a bit more specifically on data structures, the different types of data structures uh, within IDA and how they work. Uh, uh, this is a good resource, seriously. Uh, IDA takes, um, takes its types really seriously. It, it's uh, definitely a type design first language. What I mean by that is it you're more or less expected to design the types out uh, first and then build up everything around that. Uh, essentially a data-driven design of sorts. Um, so it's really good to understand all the different all the different data types that Ida supports. Now, this is a bit out of date, and by a bit, I mean two major versions out of date, uh, but it is still useful for covering the basics. Uh, goes into considerably more detail than I do in my videos. All of these do. L like, literally all of these go into more detail than I do in my videos, because there's no way I'm covering all of these in, in a video. Um... And then, if you are doing, say, like military stuff or any type of major servers or distributed computing, this is a pretty good resource. Uh, there's a newer one out, I believe also by Barnes, uh, about building distributed systems. That would be a, probably a better read, uh, at least for that. But this, as far as I know, would be the best resource for real-time uh, this was by what, Concurrent and Real-Time Programming in Ida by Alan Burns and Andy Wellings. Unfortunately, it's... You know, just the straight-up books are not one of the best resources for learning things, but the 
and I'll flat out say it, the added community is kind of crap. Uh, I'm obviously trying to fix that by providing a lot of resources, but it's, it's kind of crap. It's not like, it's not like they're the only ones that, uh, that are crap, but... Despite some rather big companies, there's not a whole lot of resources to learning IDA, unless you're willing to shell out tons of money for college courses. And let's face it, a lot of us aren't. <laughs>